Morning, Liz. Morning, Scotty. That is Elizabeth Dusenberg Del Grasso. My name is Scotty Cox. We co-host the morning show on today's Best Country, Clear 99. And occasionally, very occasionally, <laughs> we're trying to get back into the habit so it's not so occasionally. We throw together a little podcast. Sometimes it is, uh, like last time was really cool, it was our interview with Jason Aldean, mm-hmm. which doesn't happen every day or every month. Uh, and sometimes it's just fun that we uh, we get into on the morning show, and that is the case with today. Uh, it was one of those uh, topics that we kind of stumbled into, really, and then it took off, and generally those are the most fun when it comes to things we do on the radio. So I'm not going to spoil it with anything. We're just going to kind of share it with you as it happened this morning. Today's Best Country, Clear 99, Chris Jansen, done with Liz and Scotty in the morning. By the way, Elizabeth, you almost got a phone call from me last night. I needed some some technical help, some technology help. I, I, I called Liz's husband, Will, for fix-it stuff. I called Liz for computer <laughs> slash phone slash technology. I, I, switched my, uh, I switched my cable this week, my, mm. my TV viewing. In an effort to uh, to save a little money, so I'm 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 having to get used to uh, new channels, the new remote control, which of course these newfangled remote controls are half the size, and you got two buttons that take care of 18 different things. Yes, <laughs> and I was very confused. Aww. So I almost I almost called you, but I I thought no, she's got a baby at home, leave her alone. <laughs> But I was, but you know, you, and you're doing that thing where you can kill so much time just going, you know, seeing what new channels I have, yeah. or channels I didn't have before. I've, I've got the uh, the Hallmark Channel now. Of course, it's all Christmas, but maybe they're Christmas movies all year round. I don't even know. <laughs> I've, and I stopped on one of those for about. I've never seen a Hallmark movie, but I stopped wait, for about ten wait, seconds. Wait, and, you've never seen a Hallmark Christmas movie before? No, no. What? No, I've never seen all the way through. You mean like yes. sit down and watch one? Yeah. No. Where have you been? I I don't know. There must have been a football game on or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I've never Both? never seen one all the way through. No. Aren't they all the same? Aren't they the same movie over and over again? They're all the same, but they're also different at the same time. Are you? I am absolutely astounded right now. Why? Because I'm a Christmas head, or what? Or just that because just, I'm a human being on this it, planet? Yes. Just because you're a human being on this planet with a television and you have not all the way through seen a Hallmark Christmas movie? I would think that 98% of the guys that you talk to in this world would say the same thing. I think you are in the bottom 1%. Really? Yes. Yes. I find that strange. (laughs) Today's Best Country, Clear 99. Yes, we had the speaker strength up on that one. Jackson Dean. It's called Don't Come Looking. Real quick, Elizabeth, look behind you. See that? Makings of a good sunrise. A little color in the sky this morning. We're glad you're up with Liz and Scotty in the morning. I'm still so shocked that you haven't seen a Hallmark Christmas movie before. I have not. I, I mean, I know they're... I'm aware of them, but I've never watched an entire one, no. And I don't understand why that surprises you so much. Do you, do you know any guys who will sit down and watch a Hallmark Christmas movie? Oh, yeah. My father-in-law loves them. Like, he's probably one of Hallmark Christmas movies' biggest fans. Really? Yeah, I don't think he had a choice initially. (laughs) (laughs) Because my mother-in-law loves them. Okay. But whenever you go over there around this time, my mother-in-law's in in the kitchen. He's sitting in his recliner, and he's watching them intently. Okay, well... (laughs) We got a guy on the line. I want to. I want to test something here. Owen okay. <laughs> is on the line. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? Good. I I got a question. Since you happen to be a man calling this morning, I'm going <laughs> to ask you out of the blue. Have you ever seen a Hallmark Network Christmas movie? No, I can't say I have. No. The nope. uh, Owen. No, I, I I I am aware they are a thing. I, like I've seen the promos, uh, they all pop up on uh, the Netflix queue. But no, I've I've never seen a single one myself. No. Do you live by yourself, Owen? No, I know uh, my girlfriend and I have been together for for a while, but we don't watch very many Christmas movies at all in the first place. But yeah, no, I've never seen one. Does she watch him? 
No, no. Well, like uh, I guess uh, around Christmas time, we'll we'll have the like, the classic ones on, like Christmas Story and uh, right. It's a Wonderful Life, and uh, and those. But no, it's just not a thing around here. Owen, oh, no offense, but is your girlfriend real? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's got uh, four fingers and a thumb, so I guess that's real enough. <laughs> I can tell already just from the look on Liz's face. That she's trying to figure out if you have really never seen one or you just don't want to admit to seeing one. I've never, uh, okay, so I've never seen one. However, like I said, I, I know they are a thing. I know they exist. But my impression of all of them, not having ever seen one, is they all kind of follow the same through line. So you have uh, a, a woman who's been jilted or some such and just goes back to her family for the holidays because she needs to find herself again. And then she reconnects with the love of her life from high school or college or whatever, and it's a Christmas miracle and magic and happily ever after. Or there's a kid, or there's a dog, but I, I don't really see too much uh, difference uh, in any of the promos for any of the Hallmark movies, no. <laughs> that is exactly right, Owen. <laughs> exactly right. You don't have to see him, Owen. You, you've got it down, I think. I should start writing these things. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the the 10 second now it was more than 10 seconds two minutes that I watched of one the other night that got us onto this whole thing fits exactly in that uh, young lady walks into I turned it on just as she was walking into the coffee shop okay she's talking to the, the you know the small town coffee shop guy who she knows their first name basis all of a sudden some guy pops up from behind the counter it's obvious that this woman had met him somewhere recently I'm like okay there's the guy we know that's the guy she's gonna end up her deal was apparently somehow she had lost the Christmas spirit. She had sat down and made a list of things that she wanted to do that were going to get her back into the Christmas spirit. And it, it became very evident in just that two minutes, this guy was going to help her check those things off of that list. They were going to fall in love and live happily ever after. So. And see, that sounds like a very cute movie. A great way to spend two hours of your day. I will... I was about to agree with you. I don't know about the two hours, but I will agree with you. It was very cute. And it's a formula. I, You know. Yes, it works. It, it obviously works. It <laughs> obviously works. Take Liz and Scotty with you when you get to work. Right now. Get the Clear 99 mobile app with Mid-America Mortgage wherever you download your apps. Learn more at clear99.com. Today's best country, Clear 99, Morgan Wallen, You Proof, with Liz and Scotty in the morning. All right, back to these Hallmark Christmas movies for just a minute. I, Liz is so surprised that I have never... Wait a minute. You know what we need? What? Hang on a minute. We, <gasps> Ooh, Christmas wait, music? Hang on. Hang on. If, if we're going to talk about a Hallmark Christmas movies, let's set the appropriate tone. <laughs> I have never seen a Hallmark Christmas movie all the way through. Liz is shocked. I'm just surprised that you're shocked that I've never seen one. And I'm not trying to get a whole men versus women thing going here. I understand that there are guys that probably like them, guys that watch them because their wives or girlfriend or kids watch them. But I don't understand why you're so surprised that I've ne never seen one. And so that's kind of where I'm hung up on a little bit. And I, listen, I have a lot of warm and fuzzy tendencies that's just not one of them. I'm not trying to play the big macho guy who's never seen it. That's not me. I, You know, I admit to pedicures, for God's sake. <laughs> but I just, you seem so surprised that I've never seen a Hallmark Christmas movie. And that, that surprises me a little bit. I well, I think my thoughts are, you know, perfectly summed up by Randy's text message that we just got. He said, for a guy who will wear a pink shirt all over Columbia, but hasn't watched a Hallmark <laughs> movie... <laughs> As they say on ESPN, come on, man. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, Listen, man. Listen, I believe in Christmas. I just don't believe in love. I'm Scotty. kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, my God. I knew the look on your face. I'm just kidding. Good morning. I can't believe that you've never seen a Hallmark movie all the way through. No. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got two daughters and a wife, and they live for November, December, Hallmark Christmas movie. My wife showed me a meme the other day that was uh, calling for a moment of silence for all the good-looking, well-dressed uh, city boys. They were going to lose out to the rugged uh, country boy in flannel this season. 
<laughs> that is funny. Now, be honest. Do you enjoy them, too? My wife and daughter's into them, so I have to. Having to watch them and enjoying them are two totally separate conversations. Well, the funny part is we'll get to the end, and, and I'll say, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the country boy won again. You know, one of the common themes uh, through the morning, Liz, has been from, from texters, callers, and people that we work with who listen, who stick their heads in, um, is the, the, the predictability of the Hallmark movies. Mm-hmm. And I, I think it's comforting on some level. You know what I mean? Yeah, 1,000%, because you can sit down and you know exactly what's going to happen and your heart's not going to get broken. When I was uh, a, a kid, middle school to, to high school, I got hooked on uh, Louis L'Amour Westerns. Uh, he was a, a prolific Western writer. Mm-hmm. And I used to always say, 10 pages in, I knew who the good guy was, knew who the bad guy was, and and knew who the woman was that the good guy was going to end up marrying or helping he didn't always marry but that's kind of the way these movies are. so there there is a a comfort level to it yes and it also reminded me that that literally i don't know two to four minutes that i watched of one the other day it reminded me very much too of the uh the chevy chase movie funny farm which was the one where they were in this town and they paid the people in town to to make it look like a perfect christmas home in a perfect christmas town and there's something very sweet about that too that these are all based in very Perfect Christmas towns, and I realize that's part of the plot and everything. But... Yeah, it just oozes Christmas. Yes. No matter where you go, it's no. like perfectly decorated. Everybody's in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> and, and I hope very much that I did not come across as a hater. I, I am not. I am not opposed no. to these movies, and I'm not opposed to watching them. I was just surprised that you were surprised that I hadn't seen one. And yes, I was just shocked when I heard you hadn't seen one because I feel like everybody has because they're just all over the place all the time. And we got some really good calls and texts and comments about about men and women who, who love watching the Hallmark Christmas movies. Yeah, and it's just all over the place too, which I found really funny. Like Joseph on our Facebook page, he loves watching them and he will openly admit it. Right. Derek says, my wife makes me enjoy them. <laughs> Heard some of that. It was yeah. not surprising. And then Allison, who just says, that's all my dad watches, all the Hallmark Christmas movies all year round. And I was going to say, are they on all year round? I, I've never had the Hallmark Channel, and I wonder... Yeah, they play them very frequently, obviously, like around this time for Christmas. Right. But then they have like Christmas in July. But now they've started doing Hallmark Christmas movies, but for every single season. So there's like summer ones. Okay. There's fall ones. Right. So no matter where you go on Hallmark, you're bound to get a movie that's basically the same plot line right. of a Hallmark Christmas movie. They do them for Easter, New Year's, and Arbor Day. They really do. That's funny. All right. I, I will make this commitment to you. At some point between now and the end of the year, I will sit down and watch one. Okay. Um, and report back, okay? I would love that. Because I am a sap. For, I mean, let's be honest. I am a Christmas sap from head to toe. So it's, I, I do think it was something I might enjoy, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I, I, I'll watch at least one. I'll okay. give you that much. Okay. okay. Sounds great. Thank you so much for spending a little time with our uh, our little podcast here. We would love for you to uh, subscribe, and that's easy to do. If you just search for Clear 99 On Demand, wherever you get your normal podcast, whether it's Google or Spotify or, or Apple, uh, you, you search for Clear 99 On Demand, and the Liz and Scotty's Potty are a part of that, along with some other stuff that we throw in from time to time. Plus, they're always on the website, too. Yeah, right? just go to clear99.com, and we've got, like, a podcast section where you can click, and you just see all of our podcasts. So click whatever one, you know, suits you. And you are always invited, to to just join us on the good old-fashioned radio every morning from 5.30-ish to 10-ish. It's Liz and Scotty on today's Best Country, Clear 99. Morning. Name something, Bryant, that you might see at a Clear Country Fall Festival. How about hay rides? You ever kiss a boy on a hay ride, Elizabeth? <laughs> no. Is that a place where you smooch a lot? I don't know. I thought it was. I never did personally. Okay. I'm about to ask. Is that romantic? Well, I meant like boys and girls of a certain age might hold their hand for the first time on a hay okay. ride or something like that. Maybe. I'm just uncomfortable on hay rides, right. so I'm not going to be kissing on any hay rides anytime soon. You act like that was the craziest thing you've ever heard of. Well, if we had a $500 survey, name the places where you smooch, 
I don't think hay rides would be on that list. I think you might be surprised. Okay. Good morning. Hi. I heard you guys talking about the kids and going on a hay ride, and um, not just for kids. I just went on one <laughs> pretty recently. Was it a date? It was a date. It was a date. It was a guy. Yeah, a guy I met on an app. <laughs> <laughs> it took me on a hay ride. You thought it was going to be a good idea. <laughs> was it a first date? No, it was a second date. Okay. It was a second date. Yeah. Yeah, it was all right. It was cute. Yeah. <laughs> what was your reaction when he suggested it for date number two? I mean, I thought, oh, I haven't been on one of those in a while. So, yeah, why not? You know, um, the hay ride was great, I guess. <laughs> I, guess. I, guess. Uh, I guess. Did something bad happen? No, no, no. The hayride was just really good. It, it's just, yeah, I don't think we're going to go out again. But, oh. but it was not the fault of the hayride. <laughs> that was cute. It's a clear country morning.